Hey guys, Dan the Man here. Today we are gonna open up this Acer Nitro 5 17 inch uh, edition of it, which got an RTX 4060 in there, 140 watts, uh, and an i7 12th gen. Uh, pretty good stuff in there. So there are basically like four screws there on that side, three screws in the middle, one in the corner there, and then four in the bottom. Once you unscrew all those things, you try to use an old bank card or something you don't use, some plastic tool, and try to push down in the side until it goes in and you hear a click and you go around and around and you work your way around the whole computer. I put all the screws on one side here. I've already uh, taken them out just to make this video shorter, basically. So they're all the same size. Uh, it doesn't matter if you mix them. Once you do that, you work your way around here all the way around here and then to the left up and you should have this area released you know once this area is released you try to play with it a little bit wiggle and push forward and this thing should come off and the reason i said to push forward is because the io panel is here that is going to stop it so i'm just going to put this aside if you need to do some cleaning you could clean the mesh in there i mean if you need that too and this is already a very a uh, new and clean unit so here you have like four hit pipes for the graphics card with a small fan i wish they put a bigger fan but they did they made some compromises here unfortunately and here we have another small fan and three hit pipes which two of them are shared between the cpu and the gpu and one is going this way to pull it out but this is a quite a cool unit because it's a 17 inch unit so it's gonna be pretty cool so you can disconnect the battery if you want to from here you could also undo the screws that's holding the battery in place there is one and two of them and the battery will come off basically and you can just have it replaced you can also replace this daughter board by disconnecting this uh, connection in there so it's a pretty simple straightforward motherboard design and you have one, uh, basically, NVMe uh, Gen 4, I believe, with digital SSD in there. You can add another one in here. You can add a long one or a short one. It's your choice. You got your Wi-Fi card. You can replace that as well. And under this heat sink shield thingy, see, it's attached with a screw. I'm going to open that and show you the RAM right there. You just undo that, you take the RAM out, and under this shield, you have the RAM. And the RAM actually has uh, thermal pads under it. It's like sandwich between two thermal pads. There is one 16 gigabyte module in there already. And if you would like, you can change it. This is a 16 gigabyte Samsung memory. It's rated at 4,800 megahertz. So there is one in there and you can actually add another one. I believe you can go up to 64 gigabytes without a hassle or a problem. So this shield is there just to keep it cool, I believe, from the heat that the CP produces. And let's say if you were to clean this, you can use a toothbrush, a used one, and go ahead around and just clean the fan a little bit but as i mentioned this unit has been used for less than a month so everything is in excellent condition and as you can see the fan on the gp side is cleaner than the one on the cpu side because this fan spins more often as i'm using this mostly for office work so just going around with it a bit it's not necessary, by the way, to disconnect the battery in order to add RAM or SSD or things like that. But if you want to, it's an option. And the, well, the thing I like about this is that Acer did not include any stickers in the back that says void warranty if you add things and stuff to it. So it doesn't. You can even change the thermal pad and the thermal paste if you wanted to. But again, it's not necessary. So I'm going to put that little screw right there. And I'm just going to blow into this because there is a little bit of dust and I don't like dust. Okay, I just blew away the dust 
be careful to not spit in it if you have compressed air it's gonna be much much better i like the heat pipe design i like that there is this uh, uh, stuff in there to cool down the uh, video memories and stuff like that so it's a pretty straightforward laptop they have a lot of space it's a waste i wish they put the battery a little bit there so you could have maybe more m2 slots in here or things like that but then again this is not the high edition of the laptop this is just uh, uh, mid-range let's say gaming with that 140 watt rtx 4060 and uh, things like that so i'm gonna put the ram shield back in there so it was just for you to see it and as you try to put it back there there are little things that the ram goes between it's like a small clip it helps to hold it in place you see it's not wiggling anymore and i'm gonna put the screw back in there so it's a very straightforward procedure, very simple and easy laptop to maintain. You can add another SSD, you could upgrade the RAM, you could replace your GPU and CPU without voiding your warranty. But make sure if you're going to do any of those things, disconnect the battery and press the power button. Make sure there's no power in the system. So you're not going to short anything or short circuit anything because you'll regret it. Most motherboards are very hard to repair, and there are only some experts that can do that. I'm not saying this to scare you, but then if you want to do those things, which I don't think you would be doing it until the next three years or so, they're going to be good, and they're going to be just fine. There's plenty of space. It's a cool laptop, and it runs well. And you just put the lid back, basically, and close up all the screws, as simple as uh, it sounds, you know? so um anyways that's pretty much it uh, if you like this video like it give me a thumbs up and uh, hopefully i can upload more stuff we have another one g16 in there on that side as you can see not sure if you can see it's uh in there okay yeah you can see it's light slightly there i'm gonna be opening that as well and uh, to give you guys an idea of uh, what's going on in there anyways uh thumbs up give me a thumbs up and uh Donate to my channel if you wanted to and subscribe.